Here we are, part 11 of the Corvette build. We continue to put things together. So let's get started. Working on making the spreader bar. So I made these brackets. You see, I just took, it's a piece of angle iron and then I made gussets in the middle. Uh, I bought this from Speedway and I'll put the part numbers down below. I went too long. I bought one that was, I don't know, I probably should have bought an inch shorter. So I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit, but uh, you see it's not that much so i'll take half off one end half off the other but it actually has pretty good clearance and i got it as close to the center as i could without interfering you can see it's gonna be just you know in front of the balancer so but it is an offset just a little bit forward ideally you get it right in the middle but all right let's cut that down shut up and sit down I had the differential mounted in the car, but I'm putting a diff cooler on it and I am gonna street drive it. So I don't want the pump running all the time. So I realized I needed to put a temp sensor in so I could tell the temp of the differential. This is a, I, what I did is I bought the a harness for my fans that came with a 195 degree switch and I'm using the, the PCM to control the fans. So I don't, I'll just use the switch for the differential. So trying to figure out where I was gonna put it. It's upside down. And here's the, the feed fitting for the pump. And I thought maybe somewhere down here, but I don't really like the idea with a full built differential drilling into it, maybe getting metal shavings. But as I started looking at the cover, there's this nice spot right here, which puts the, the sensor right next to the gear, but not in a place where it will interfere with anything. So if I drill the hole in at an angle like this, tap it with the NPT tap, then that should put it right into the oil and it should be a good place to, to measure the temperature from. The other plus is I can take the cover off, do all the drilling outside of the differential and not have to worry about getting any, anything inside of it.
Okay, we got the hole drilled and tapped. Uh, when you're working on an M NPT tap, they're tapered. So you, you tap in, take it back out, test, tap in, take it back out and test. Or if you keep going, you'll end up with it going in too far. Uh, or if you don't go far enough, it won't go in far. I got it in where it's over. I was looking for about three threads and I got about three and a half. So that'll work just fine. But now you can see in relation to the gear, plenty of plenty of room, not gonna interfere with anything. And I didn't get any metal inside the differential. So now we'll put some, some pipe dope on there. We'll install that and put, differ, put the differential back in the car. Made a lot of progress that I didn't get on film, putting uh, parts back into the nose. Radiator core support. Uh, I did have to modify the front frame horn. You see it's bowed in now. Um, the, the radiator did not clear, so I cut that out, curved it, and then welded it back in. Uh, we got the, the main supports in. So we're coming along. Next, I need to fit oil coolers, but first, there's this rod that goes between the record support and the nose. And, you know, of course it was all rusted completely away. So what I'm gonna do is if I got a bolt that fits in the hole, I'm gonna cut that rod off and then weld it to that, weld it to that bolt and that should fix that.
once I get that fixed, then I need to mount the oil cooler. I got, uh, this is for the engine oil cooler, and I have a smaller one that'll go on this side for the trans cooler. Um, and I think it's actually not gonna be too bad. I can make an L bracket at the bottom, but then to support the top, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna mimic this bar from the top two of the mounts uh, of the coolers here to that bar to support the top. On the edges, I can just do an L bracket to the, to the side of the core support. Um, so let's, let's see how that goes. All right, I got the oil and the transmission cooler mounts made, but I ran into a problem. This corner here, the hoses have to come through this gap. So this is too tight of a, a corner just to put a hose end on it. So I came up with this, it's a bulkhead fitting, and then the two 90s, of course. But it's about a half inch too far to the passenger side. So I'm gonna have to move the mounts over just a little bit to make it fit. The other fitting should be fine. The hose should have enough room to, to curve and come over here. And then this side is okay. Um, I have I have a different fitting for that one. Uh, so I guess we'll move the mount. Shut up and sit down.
Shut up and sit down. Before I put the radiator in, I figured I should show the hose routing because it'll be more difficult once the radiator is in. You only have that small gap on each side to get the hoses through, but I was able to fit two 10 AN hoses and the electrical. You're not fitting anything else through there. Uh, so those are nice and sturdy. And then they route down underneath because there's nowhere to go through over here and down the side of the motor to connect to the, the oil cooler and to the transmission cooler. Figure out what radiator hoses I need. I bent the I bent up these wires, which you can see, you know, match up with where the hose needs to go, and for the lower one. And I probably spent an hour in the O'Reilly's parts store digging through hoses until I found ones that were the right shape. Now they were, they're close. Top one's easy, but I did have to shorten them. The lower one is a little bit harder to find, but this actually fits really well, and it, it bends into the right location good enough it doesn't kink at all so i think it's going to work just fine but here's the numbers 22692 and a 22918 for the upper this is a for this one with this dewitt's radiator uh the upper is an inch and a quarter inside diameter and the lower is an inch and a half Shut up and sit down. Alright, so in this part, we started off with getting the spreader bar made and we got it all installed. We got the oil coolers, brackets made, all the hoses made, we got the radiator in, radiator hoses, and the wheels and tires. These things are amazing. I love them. We're getting really close to putting power to the system and testing everything out.